Hello again, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's and we're looking at a Mercedes C-Class with some lock and wheel nuts that have been damaged. Now I've already taken one off and this is what it looked like. The inside of the key there has been worn away. So I've got these kits here with me today. It's a breaker bar with a 22mm socket on it and these is the work suig. Comes with this gun here inside. It's an air hammer basically. And that's the part number there, 1070 Welts work suig. Now in this box, 1158-11, it's got these little conical uh, sockets. So basically you yeah, can use one of these adapters to get the socket over the end there and hammer drill it in over the socket there, over the uh, lock and wheel nut. This one is the size 30. You can just get that over the wheel, directly on there. Squeeze the trigger and shoot it in there. Be a good idea to actually turn the compressor on. So I almost forgot the whole meaning of making this video is can you remove the lock and wheel nut with a spinning sleeve on it like that? Can you remove it without removing the lock and sleeve? Yes, you've seen us do the one from the middle there um, with the Dynomec kit where you put the blade C inside and you can't open them like that. Um, now, just because the other key was damaged, this one right here, and this was damaged by the mobile tire fitter from Halfords, I think, which they first stripped the original key that came with it, and then they stripped two Dynamic keys, trying to get that off as well. So the Dynamic key didn't work because there isn't much grip left in there, if you can see. So, we decided to do it this way, with this kit. Now, we can use a dynamic kit on this, but I'm going to use this key again, just to show you how this works. Let's get that back over there. Should have a bit more power now. And just for good measure, we'll use the punch that came with the one of the kits here. Just to give it a good tight hammer in. Now we'll use the breaker bar on it. There you go, so you can see that that was pretty easy there. A couple of taps of a hammer and it's out. But why don't I usually use this kit all the time? Uh, I'm going to show you now why. So with these kits now I need to get the socket back out of the cone. But it comes with this punch here that fits directly in the middle. See there yet that was easy enough to do but now the ring is left stuck inside the socket so i've now got to get that out of there somehow and you can't really get the punch in there because it, it don't grip the side walls of that so the only way i i figure out how to do it is just by putting a slit down down the middle here like this <laughs> grinder now I've got a little grinding tool
So now I've put a slit in it, so I've broken the actual uh, ring. I need to just hammer it now to uh, snap it out. And just like that. So I had to cut cut the ring to then squish it over and pull it out. Which is a bit of a pain in the arse doing it like that to be honest. That's the only thing I don't like about these conical uh, sockets. But of course if you have a better way to do it be free to uh, leave a comment there. So here I have another lock and wheel here. Same one again, same car. We'll try a different method on this one using a Dynamic kit. So it's this kit here, Dynamic XL. Open her up and we've got some keys. I think we might have damaged all these ones, so I might have to go get some new ones. Okay, so we've got a new key in there, and it just slips into this little part here, and we slip the, slip the shroud down over it, just so it holds the pin in. So now what I need to do is hammer this in and mould the shape of this into that key. I'll do that by hammer. Now we're going to use this section here. It's the impact impact hammer that comes with the kit. So I'll move you back a bit so you can see. So as you hammer this in, it shocks it and turns slightly. So I can put this protective ring on if it's tight so I can hit it a bit harder. Okay, so that doesn't want to work. Seem to have went offline there with the camera. Next option you can do here is put the jack just underneath it to keep it straight and use a breaker bar or an impact gun. Let's see which one works. Try it with the impact, uh, try it with the breaker bar. Okay, so that's worked there. Now the, the good thing about using this is this method is we, we don't need to now try and get this this uh, spinning sleeve. We don't need to try and get that back out of the socket. Just a few taps off the floor and it comes out. As you can see there how it just moulded itself into the shape of the key there. And it just moulded itself in there. It fits directly onto it.
We can get the car lifted. Get the wheel nuts off. We'll get this wheel changed. That's the wheel there, tightened up to a GT spec. And some more wheel nuts for me to dispose of. That's it, see you in the next video.